Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today is another episode of LTFC Weekly. This week's topic is all about Danny Hilton and is he good enough for the championship? But before I speak about this topic, can we drop a like on today's video? Can we hit 80 likes for today's video? Comment down below your thoughts about Danny Hilton. Do you think he's good enough for the championship? Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And guys, if you want to become a member of my channel, click the link down below. You get exclusive perks if you guys want to become a member. So is Danny Hilton good enough for the championship? Now this topic has been talked about across social media over the last like 10 days or so and I thought I'm going to give you guys my thoughts about this. Do I think Danny Hilton is good enough for the championship? Well, let's talk about how we got to this point. So Danny Hilton was out of contract in the summer and we offered him a two year deal. I was very surprised that we offered him a two-year deal. I felt it should have been one year due to the injuries which he suffered. And he didn't really, well, he hasn't really had the chance to prove himself in the championship. So I thought two years was a little bit too much to give him. So for me, I would have gave him a one-year deal. But we've given him a two-year and we need to see what he can do in these two years. So what is Danny Hilton's record in the championship with Luton? So he hasn't scored yet which doesn't worry me at this moment in time, but he's played a lot more sub appearances than he has starts. So during the return of Nathan Jones, like through the lockdown games, Danny Hilton came on as a sub. He started a few, he started against Leeds and he did put in a shift, you know, he put in a decent effort in, but didn't really have many chances for him to actually score a goal. Now, a lot of fans are saying that because of that, He's not championship quality. I personally think it's very harsh to judge a player on sub appearances. It's really hard because a player sometimes takes 10 minutes to get into the game. And, and I know in a few games for Luton, Danny has come on and only played about three minutes and then the game's gone. You know, So I feel like it's very harsh to judge Danny of the sub appearances. I feel like if you are going to judge Danny, it's through starting games. Now, so far, he has started three championship games for us this season. Yes, he's played in the cup games, but I'm not going to talk about the cup games. I'm talking about league games. Now, he's played in the Stoke game, Millwall and Sheffield Wednesday. Now, in my opinion, we should have won two of them. Stoke, we should have won. We were very unlucky in front of goal. The amount of opportunities that we missed was very poor from us and we should have done better. Danny did have an opportunity in that game to score. He only actually had one in that game and he forced a save out of the keeper. And his next opportunity came during the Sheffield Wednesday game where it was cleared off the line. He'd done very well to actually put himself in that situation. Either side of the defender is a goal after 30 seconds in that game. I think Danny just needs a goal, if I'm being honest with you. I feel like fans are being too judgmental too quickly. If we all remember what James Collins did in League One, I think he went nine games without actually scoring in League One and then he became top goal scorer. Give Danny a bit of time. That is something which I recommend. I think it's too early to judge if Danny's good enough for the championship. I always think it's too early. You, you can't judge it off three games. Yes, you can judge it of what you've seen so far. But I just think that's a little bit harsh when it's still early days, you know. Not in a forest are currently in the bottom half of the championship. Do I think they're going to stay there throughout the season? No, I think they'll be near the playoffs. You know, you can't judge things too early. You really can't. For example, like our first game of the season against Middlesbrough where we got a 3 or draw, I think a lot of supporters after that game thought, you know what, we're going to do all right in the championship. We made life really hard for ourselves and only stayed up on the last day of the season. So that's a prime example there on don't judge it too early. We've had a good start to the championship. Does that mean we're not going to be near the bottom three? No, of course it doesn't because it's too early to judge things. Danny, for me, is a different type of striker to Collins. I think he's hauled up plays a lot better than Collins. I think he is a player which frustrates teams. You know, he is a player that gets in the face of another team. I don't think Collins does that. Collins, for me, has a better like, work rate than Danny Hilton. So Collins will press. But Danny, I think he gets into the face of like, other teams. You know, he fouls players for no reason. You know, he makes them angry. He gets into their heads. You know, he talks to the ref when 
a bad decision has been made. You know, you need characters like Danny Hilton in your team. So for me, Danny is a different type of player to Collins and a different type of striker. But Danny is also a striker who needs a couple of chances to score, which doesn't go in his favour when we don't create many chances. People also need to realise as well, Danny can't score if the service isn't there for him to score. You know, you can't always self-create your own chances. So in the middle game, he had nothing because no chances were created for him to actually take advantage of. For a striker, it's all about getting that first goal. I do believe once Danny gets that first goal, he will be fine and we will see a very good Danny Hilton. I think his job is to cause problems. Yes, get the odd goal when needed, but he isn't going to score as many goals as Collins. Collins is the one which we are relying to score the goals. Danny is there as backup, like he has done so far, to help the team win football matches. People need to realise as well, Danny has to prove himself. Even though he's got a two-year deal, he has to prove himself. Because if he has a very poor year this year, we can easily go to him, right, we're just going to cancel your contract, or we're going to send you out on loan during your second year. So Danny still has to prove himself in the championship. He's got a lot to prove. Same with a lot of other Luton Town players as well people have got to prove themselves. For some players in our team, they haven't played in the championship still. Like the likes of Morel, he hasn't played many minutes in the championship. Dewsbury Hall, Sam Nombe, you know, those players haven't played in the championship, so they're proving themselves as well. But honestly, I just think it's too early to judge Danny Hilton. If I was to make a prediction on how many goals I think Danny will score, I am looking at around 10. And I think that would be Danny's objective. You know, for a striker, it's always to hit double figures and I think that's what Danny's objective will be for this season and if he does get 10 goals you know he puts in an effort we improve what we did last season Danny's done his job Luton's objective this season is to stay away from the relegation places and to push on from last season at this moment in time we are currently doing that if Luton finish in the top 10 with Danny scoring 10 goals he's done his job in my eyes and I think Nathan would be very proud of him. Nathan calls him a championship player. Nathan sees him every day in training. I feel like we need to trust the manager, trust McArthur, because McArthur also agreed that Danny is a good player. So let's give it time to see what Danny can do throughout the season. But I feel like people are judging it way too early. And this is my opinion, of course. But there you have it, guys. That is the end of the video. This is my opinion on Danny Hilton. And do I think... He is ready for the championship. Like I said, it's too early. From what I've seen so far, he's done okay. You know, he hasn't been brilliant. He hasn't been awful, but he's been okay. Let's see what he can do throughout the season. Drop a like on today's video if you did enjoy it. Comment down below your thoughts about Danny Hill and do you believe he's good enough for the championship? Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Don't forget to follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.